in middle school, I played basketball. Uh, I made the team mostly because I was tall, um, obviously, but it, what happened is that during my eighth grade season, I had a teammate who told me all the reasons why he thought I was bad. Um, and so he wasn't, he wasn't actually totally wrong. In his defense, I was pretty bad. I didn't have a lot of talent. But as a result of that talk, at the end of my season, I set goals for myself to leave behind untalented Jordan. I wanted to improve, and that's what I'd worked for. And by the end of my senior year of high school, I actually led our team in both points and rebounds per game. Now, in our, our society, we have a growing shift that instead of allowing kids to lose and learn from it, uh, is insisting on rewarding every kid solely on their participation. I wanna to explain to you why you shouldn't raise your future kids this way and that the valuable lessons that they'll lose from not learning those, those lessons from losing, uh, the entitlement that could and is growing from this trend, and the kids that it would really hurt. We, a report given by the Aspen Institute in 2016 found that three out of every four American households have at least one school-aged child who's participating in youth sports. That equates to about 56% of children in the US. Uh, that's a lot of influence over the future of America. We shouldn't give everyone an award just for showing up. Instead, we should foster a culture that treats losing for what it is, an opportunity to learn and grow. My uh, thoughts today come from over 12 years of playing personally uh, organized sports, uh, as well as national trends that I've observed. Now, my first point, kids are missing valuable lessons learned from losing. There are many in our society that want to shield kids from everything that is negative, including losing, which sets them up for fake expectations in life. In 2017, there was a sports association in Olympia, Washington, that gained national attention for their coaching ballless soccer. Uh, they decided that competition and losing were negative consequences that kids shouldn't have to go through, so they removed both the ball and scoring from the game. Uh, what this does is by implementing this practice, it set up a fake reality for these kids, a future that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. Now, kids do need motivation um, and healthy stretching, and that comes from losing. Um, they realize it's part of life and that it happens to everyone by going through it themselves. My second point, kids are becoming entitled. By constantly giving awards and honors for little effort or just showing up, we feed into a mindset that minimal work deserves equal praise with hard work. The University of Hampshire found during a study in 2016 a trend suggesting that millennials tend to believe they're more deserving of certain things and feel superior to others. While there are many factors that play into this trend, constantly rewarding uh, for merits or where there is no merit can certainly be counted as one. Giving appropriate praise where it's deserved and constructive criticism where it's needed can help break down entitlement and replace it with confidence and determination. My third point, kids showing talent and skill are losing motivation at a young age. Trying to make everyone special, as some see it, uh, can cause those who excel, whether it be in school or in sports, to lose motivation as their achievements are made equal with everyone else. A 2003 National Research Council reported that upwards of 40% <clears throat> excuse me, of students in school are disengaged because of a lack of motivation. Would that number be so high if we focused more on recognizing those talents and efforts as opposed to putting everyone on the same pedestal? You wouldn't pay someone who worked 20 hours in a week the same amount as someone who worked 40 hours. Likewise, we should recognize and reward achievements while inspiring others to the same. In closing, I want to reiterate the harmful effects of giving everyone participation trophies and awards. Those are not learning the lessons that are taught through losing, increased potential for entitlement, and potentially burying real talent <clears throat> where it exists. On the other hand, by allowing loss and adversity to exist, kids will have opportunities to learn, grow, and be better prepared for the real world. I challenge each of you to look at what you've learned from your personal failures and losses in your lives and commit to teaching your future children the same. I'm grateful that I had a, a teammate who helped me to realize what I wanted in life, to evaluate myself, set goals, work towards them, and ultimately made some great memories. And that's that possible for everyone.
Thanks.